Hey everybody, welcome to what I hope will become a yearly tradition. This is uh, something that I, I want to do with the broadcasting class. It's uh, the day that I sort of take over class and uh, every year I'll get to do my own little show, my own little uh, Mr. Stein, the Stu Stein show. And so uh, I've, I've, uh, I've brought in a few guests uh, today for our final show, uh, for our first and final show, I guess. And the reason, the reason why we are here in 338 instead of down in the studio, I, I know I told you all yesterday that we were uh, going to be up here because they're doing something. They're not doing anything. We are the they. So it would be us, and we're not there. We're here. So, ha <laughs> ha, fooled you. Um, we're here because, you see, for the better part of the last 17 years, I've, uh, I've taught social studies here at uh, the Metman High School. And uh, before I, that, I, was, uh, I taught in uh, New York City. I taught social studies. And this has been my classroom for, uh, for uh, oh man, a long time, I think four, 13, 14 years. And uh, before that I was, I was next door, I was next door, and uh, Ms. Einbinder, she's now the current social studies chairperson, she was, my, she was my roommate. And I remember the first day I got here to the big Belmore America Central High School District, I was so ridiculously excited because uh, I, I, I walked into the room and Ms. Einbinder, she said, uh, hi, you know, welcome, um, this is your desk. And I was like, my, my what? She's like, this, this is your desk. I was like, my desk? I, I, I get a desk because I, I came from I came from New York City where I, I got a file cabinet. I got a file cabinet. I had to put a lock on it, and there were like nine other people that shared my file cabinet. And so I was so excited here. Uh, Brayden, uh, Brayden's our director. You guys all know Brayden, and for you TV people, Brayden's our director. We'll be talking. to Brayden, could you roll two twelve? Uh, you can see two twelve up there. Uh, this is uh, Miss Einbinder uh, on my first day. I remember he said a desk. I get a desk. This place is awesome. You've never seen someone so happy to have a desk. So you see, in the studio, we, we can't hear it. In the you know, for you for folks in, in TV land, uh, we can't hear that because otherwise you get the feedback. It's not. It's, it's a bad thing. But she, that's what I said. She said, you know, you uh, you get a desk, and I was so excited. I got me a desk, and this is it. This is my desk. This is my desk right here. Um, I've had this desk. It's been with me for all all 15 years I've been here at the Big Mountain High School. And this, you know, this is awesome. I get I get a brand new desk. I want to say thank you to the taxpayers of the Belmore Merrick Central High School District. Thank you so much for my brand new desk. But it, it hurts me to have to say goodbye to this desk because it's I mean it's got this cool thing over here. I can put my feet up. Not that I ever do. Um, I got I got these drawers over here and down over here. Uh, I've got this one drawer. It's the uh, it's the one drawer that still has stuff in it. It's a uh, my drawer of broken crayons and dreams. <laughs> and right below this dress, I've got this one last desk, one last desk drawer. You can see there's no there's no handle. And for 15 years, I've not been able to open this desk drawer. And I always promised myself that at the end of uh, at the end of 30 years, when I retire, I was going to open that drawer and find out what's in it, kind of like uh, Al Capone's vault for the uh, older folks in the room. So that's, that's the exciting thing. Uh, that's why we're here today. That's the big excitement of the Stu Stein Show, is we're going to find out, finally, after 15 years, what is in this desk drawer. But before we do that, I just wanted to take a minute, because, you know, it's off the broadcasting uh, class here and out there in TV land, and I wanted to take a chance, take a second to recognize if uh, Mr. Russell, if Matt, if you could come up here to the, to the, to the big stage, I guess. Sure. You guys in the room obviously know Matt. For you uh, folks out there, the TV people, he is the reason we are on the air whenever we are on the air. Is generally what happens. I'm like, hey Matt, I got this crazy idea, and he's like, wow, that's a crazy <laughs> idea. And I'm like, how are we gonna do it? And he's like, yeah, I'll plug some things in. And you know, from the be beginning of this year, it didn't matter how crazy the idea is. It didn't matter what we, you know. We, we figured it out, and we figured it out together. Absolutely. And and I can't thank you enough for, on behalf of these guys. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna say thank no, you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, you are, you really do. You're the oil that makes this, this. Uh, I don't know what oil does. Cause I, no, I'm not a technical guy. <laughs> the door freak. You the door thank freak. you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, there's one other important person that I, I we, we both want to recognize today. Um, uh, Ronnie, if you could compare, uh, Kenny, can you get the booth for a second? Get the truck. And uh, Brayden, could you punch out the truck for me? Uh, there we. Oh no, not that bad. Pick up, pick up Kenny's camera. <laughs> That's uh, Ronnie and Brayden over there in the booth, and uh, uh, Ronnie, if you could take over, could you take the headset, and Brayden, could you come on up here for a second? Ronnie, you're going to take over as our director for a, a few minutes. So, again, you guys in the room know Brayden, and 
I wanted to take a minute here to recognize Braden. We are, our program is too young. We don't, we're, we've been around for a year. We don't have award ceremonies. We don't have plaques. We don't have certificates. We've got nothing. We got nothing. And so I wanted to use this opportunity to publicly thank Braden to make this our award ceremony. And uh, Braden, from day one, I, I remember I was told by Miss Murray, yeah, you're getting this kid, Braden Murray, a uh, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't pronounce your name, I can't we'll spell it. it. We'll fix that post. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting this, you're getting this kid, Brighton Mayer, he's a senior, he does this. I'm like, oh great, this kid knows more than I do. And you do. You, you, on day one, you knew more than I do. You knew how to right click on a mouse, on, an, on a Mac, which I still don't even know how to do. And your unassuming nature, these guys picked up, and I remember Kenny, our camera operator over there, I remember Kenny being, you know, Kenny was like, uh, he, he thought he was a teacher, I think, in the very beginning. We all do. You all, everyone, I mean, you're a senior in a room full of freshmen, and, and Jason and Mike and Ronnie and Emily, but you're, you're a senior in this room, and it was, it was seamless. You, you became a, a big brother, you became a teacher to them, you were somebody they looked to for technical advice, personal advice, you're the nature that you, you had with these guys, you became the leader of this program. And I cannot thank you enough for that. I mean, we remember the day we went into New York City with these guys. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, the, the optimal number of people to have is uh, you need 10 kids to one adult. And we've got one adult, two adults, Miss Cody, three adults. And we've got 40 kids. And I'm like, it's no big deal because Brayden's going to be our adult. And so, Brayden, I want to give you this. Earlier this year, Matt and I thought it would be a good idea to have uh, black shirts because they're cool. But also the gray shirts for the faculty, for the staff. And so I want to present you with this Belmore Merrick uh, Broadcasting faculty shirt, if you will, because I think you've more than earned it. Um, there we go. Yeah. Uh, good look for you. Thank you. I, on top of that, uh, I want to announce publicly, I think you've done it. He's good with technology, he's not so good with textiles. I got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mentioned this to you earlier, and, and you keep, I, I don't know if you remind me or not, but we are, next year we're going to have a real award ceremony, and uh, we are going to be giving out an award, it's going to be called the Braden Mayer uh, Excellence and Dedication to the Belmore Merrick Broadcasting Club Award, and that's going to be the award for years for the next year's Braden Mayer, and the Braden Mayer the year for that, and the year for that, and the year for that. And last but not least, this is exciting for you, in about uh, 25 minutes you're going to become the president of the Belmore Merrick Broadcasting Club Alumni Association. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're also the only member, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, on behalf of them, on behalf of Matt, on, on behalf of the, the entire, I mean, this program does not get off the ground without you this year, and I can't thank you enough for that. You don't, you don't need to. I mean, you can well, I, can say, I can say something. Okay. <laughs> um, just, well, obviously the recognition means the world, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't need it. Like, I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of all this with you guys, and it's been fantastic the whole way through. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is Brayden's, uh, you know, we, 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 the swan song, because now, now we get the exciting part, because now it's time to figure out how we're going to open up this desk drawer. And I, I, no, I had an idea. I had an idea. I was like, you know what? You know what? Let's use explosives. Right? Let's, like, let's boom, let's blow, boom, boom, let's, let's, let's do that. So, so uh, I, went, I, went to, I went to Charlie. Charlie's our, our head custodian. I was like, hey, Charlie, can, uh, can I use explosives in the classroom? Uh, Brayden, Ronnie, can you guys play uh, 214? Explosive? <laughs> you can't use explosives in school. <laughs> I didn't like that answer. I mean, that's a terrible answer. You can't use explosives in school. I, I, I went over Charlie's head. I went to Ms. Neto. Ms. Neto is our assistant principal. She's the head of our program here. And I was like, hey, Ms. Neto, can, can I use explosives in the classroom? Play, uh, what, you know, the two, uh, 16, I think it is. Explosives? In school? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> Right, too. So, so 
I then I went to uh, El, El Queso Grande, uh, the, the big cheese, the, 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 you know, I figured, we all know he's leaving, he's going to Central, and what's he going to get a tiny little explosion? I said, uh, can Mr. Harrington, can I, can I use explosives in the classroom? You want to play, play 215 there? No, you cannot use explosives <laughs> in the classroom. What is wrong with you? I, I, I think we can all agree I probably am a little nuts. So um, <laughs> this is why, you know, the sad thing is I came up with this cockamamie invention. Um, I figure, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put these, I, could, I probably could have done this, you know, 15 years ago to find out I could have gotten more desk space, but uh, let's, we're going we're gonna, to we'll take this in, let's uh, we'll see what we got here, let's, uh, let's see if we can't put that in one hole, and get this in the other hole, now, you, you, got, the, you, got, the, you got, the, got the right shot there, everyone ready? Yeah. Yeah, can we get a countdown, like, a, like, this is 15 years in the making right here, can we get like from five, like five, five, four, three, two, one, open the door. <laughs>